What's up guys, Roan here, RoanZoneFitness.com, and I want to talk to you about the effect of metabolism and body weight, and just kind of talk about the different effects it has, and really uh, kind of address the the overstated, or what I think is a is a is an excuse that a lot of people use uh, to just avoid really facing themselves and to really avoid just uh, you know facing the hard work to get back in shape or to get to a healthy weight. Because anyway, I'll get into that in a second. But basically, metabolism is in reference to your own body weight is pretty much just your catabolism which is the amount, of, uh, the amount of energy that is released into your body throughout the day, minus your anabolism, minus anabolism. So that's, it's pretty much what's, uh, it pretty much comes down to calories in versus calories out. It's the same, uh, same principle. So when you think about it that way, you know, calories in versus calories out, anything extra that you take in, any excess energy is going to be stored as either carbohydrates, you know, in the liver and, and in the muscles, and it's going to be stored as fat also. So when you think about it on, the, on that scale, and assuming that most people do not have, because uh, what you hear all the time is that, you know, uh, thyroid disease is linked to obesity and all this stuff, which I don't doubt that it is, but in the majority of people, and, you know, different studies that I've checked out and that I've read, is that they're even if they do have a thyroid disease or or the onset of it or they have a hyperactive thyroid it that's generally a result of their own diet that's not something that was genetic it's not something that was going to develop regardless that's something that was developed in their body it was it's pretty much a side effect of a poor diet and over time that had an effect on them not to mention the simple fact, like I said, if you're taking in more energy than you're expending throughout the day, you're going to store it as body fat and you're going to gain weight. And if you're doing that on a daily basis, I mean, obviously it's not going to take too long to pack on the weight and then eventually you're, being, you're going to continue to gain weight and then you're, you're going to become obese. And uh, I just think it's very overstated and the excuses that people make are endless, but really it just comes down to being able to control yourself, being able to have some self-control, being able to say no to certain foods, and you know, even if you didn't want to go the healthy route and say no to certain foods, you could at least control your portions and keep your calories at a certain level. You know, there's 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 many different options for weight loss. You know, you can you can diet, you can exercise, you can fast, and there's obviously other ones too, but more extreme measures. But just keep in mind that weight loss in and of itself is a simple concept. It, the The hard part is just, you know, it's the, the mental part of it, the mental game. It's dieting, it's saying no to certain foods, because in a sense, food is an, uh, in a, is an addiction. You know, certain foods, especially the sugary foods, uh, there's been plenty of studies that have been proven or that have proven those foods to be addictive along with fast food and, and stuff like that, which I completely believe I'm, I have a terrible sweet tooth myself. That's what I struggle with. So that's that's something to think about. And one more quick note on this video. Uh, metabolism, a lot of, I hear this a lot and this is false information so I want to clear it up. Metabolism cannot be increased in the short term. Oh, and what I mean by that is you're not going to increase your metabolism by eating six meals a day. And you hear that a lot, you know, if you want to lose weight, you should eat more meals, more frequent meals throughout the day. And, uh, you know, that's going to kickstart your metabolism. Or people say, when you wake up in the morning, you need to eat breakfast because that's going to kickstart your metabolism. That's not true. That's, you cannot increase your metabolism any any kind of any significant amount if any at all over the short term now over time you can build muscle mass and the more the more lean body mass that you have because muscle requires more calories to maintain 
that's going to increase your metabolism. So really, in general, if you want to re increase your metabolism over time, you know, you should take up some kind of weight training uh, regimen and incorporate that. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's really the only way to do it. But, uh, you know, in the short term, there's no short term solution to uh, increasing your metabolism. It's just not going to happen. That the different uh, meal frequency ideas out there, you know, they've both been proven to work as far as weight loss, but it's also been proven that these small meals don't actually increase your metabolism. That's, that's not what it's doing. Uh, really, whenever different people have different preferences when it comes to losing weight, and you're really going to have to try it for yourself if you are somebody that's trying to lose weight or if you're trying to drop body fat. If you're, maybe you're already, maybe you're not even overweight, you just want to drop more body fat. Like right now I'm cutting, so I want to drop some more body fat. And, you know, I've tried the six small meals a day. I've tried, you know, fasting for 17, 18 hours out of the day. And then I, uh, right now I'm just doing a calorie restricted diet and probably just three meals a day. And for me, that's what works best for me. And that's what keeps my... That's what keeps my hunger levels at a manageable level. It's uh, it's the way my schedule is. That's what works best for me. But everyone's different, you know, and every everybody's gonna prefer certain methods because everyone's everyone has a different schedule. Everyone has different preferences. Everyone has a different amount of willpower. Everyone uh, is probably gonna have a different, or they will have a different activity level depending on how much. Uh, how active you are throughout the day will depend on how many, you know, how much calories you have to cut below maintenance to actually lose weight. Uh, for example, if you run five miles every day, you're burning a pretty good amount of calories. So you're going to be able to eat more and still be at a caloric deficit and lose body fat as opposed to somebody like maybe just a bodybuilder that only lifts weights, doesn't like to do cardio, he can still lose body fat and never do any kind of cardio and be completely ripped. It just comes down to knowing your your uh, maintenance calorie level and then you know subtracting three four hundred calories from that, staying at a caloric deficit every single day, and over time you're going to lose that body fat. So that's really all it comes down to, you know, the. And I'll, I'll say this about eating frequent meals, like six small meals a day. Whenever I did that, it made me extremely, I mean, your body gets used to a certain pattern, you know, and you can, you can put your body on different patterns, and it takes about a week or two to get used to it. But once you do, you know, your body's going to adapt and suddenly get used to it. So when I was eating six small meals a day, you know, it would make me extremely hungry, and I was, I was used to eating all throughout the day. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but if you don't have your meals prepared, if you don't have six small, healthy, low-calorie meals ready to go, you're going to want to eat anyway. And that's kind of the drawback for me of that method is because you're always, you're always going to be hungry. You're going to be looking for something to eat every two, three, four hours. And, you know, sometimes whenever those cravings come around or when those hunger pains come around, that's when you're at your weakest point. And that's when temptation, you can give in to that and, you know, eat a food that's very high calorie and it throws off your diet. So on the flip side of that, there's fasting, which was somewhat preferable, but I didn't like that because uh, I just, I felt like my uh, weight training kind of suffered from, from fasting because I was losing a lot of strength. And that was probably due to the way, the timing of it. I could have timed it better. But with my schedule, there's no way I could fast and then get a good meal in and then go work out. You know, it was always flipped. And I would always have to work out, you know, mid-fast when I had no food in my system. And I was always feeling very weak. So, you know, there's plenty of methods to do it. And, you know, you kind of just got to find out what works best for you. But it's important to understand that there's no short-term solution to increasing your metabolism. So that's all I got for that. This video ran long. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.